Hi guys, how are we all doing? Rodian Builds here and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to lay creasing tiles to finish off your pier nicely. Just get it looking pucker. So without further ado, let's just uh, get to it. So pick up the trowel, get a bit of muck and get going. So the first thing we need to do is you need to pick out your creasing tile. Now as you can see here, I've already picked out some and I have set them how I want the first course to go. So before I go too ahead of myself, this is a creasing tile. It looks a lot like a normal tile, but it doesn't have the, uh, the bits on the back. Now, you can use normal tiles, like here. I have quite a nice tile that's on the house. However, it does have the old the hooks and the holes in it, and it is also a bit bent in comparison to this one. Not a lot, but it might sort of trick you up when you come to building this. Now, looking at it, I kind of like how that would look with that rustic, that sort of texture to it. You can see the difference between the clean, nice, almost engineering brick style of this tile and then you have the uh, sort of rustic look of this tile. Now, I find, I think that this would probably suit this wall better, but I bought a pack of creasing tiles because I knew that these were bent and I'd rather just show you how to use creasing tiles because you can sort of adapt this same technique to a roofing tile if you uh, do choose to do that. So, yeah, creasing tiles. You don't have to buy them in red. I also picked up sort of i'd sort of say that is a petrol blue sort of purple color and that's quite nice i actually think this probably would have suited this wall better even better than that tile over there or in fact probably in the same league as that so in fact these are probably the ones i like least but anyway i'm starting to waffle as per usual so you can get multiple different colors multiple different styles to match in with sort of the aesthetic that you want but what i've done here is i've taken a full size tile and i've cut it down now, there are multiple different ways you could bond this out, purely because there's just it just goes against the size of your pier. Now, this is obviously on the golden wall that we built last episode, links in the description. And also, I've had a few people ask about the, the mortar that I use. So also, that is linked in the description underneath the Brick Lane for Beginners playlist, if you do want to know what this mortar mix is. Um, but back to this, so you can bond it out however you want. Now, I am going to do a two-tier, two-course, creasing tile because I just think it looks nicer. One is just a bit too skinny and then once you have two together with a little bit of a, a little bit of a joint in the middle, that 10 mil in there, I think it just looks much nicer. But again, this a lot of this is down to personal preference. Now the way that I lay this out, again, down to personal preference, you don't have to do it the way that I do it. it you, you can try trial and error. Obviously I had to cut all of these down. They didn't fit on perfectly because of the size of the pier. I've got a 20 mil overhang. You could have a 40 mil. You could have whatever overhang you want if you don't want to cut them. I would suggest using uh, an angle grinder, disc cutter, whatever you want to call it to cut them. Remember to use PPE when you do so. But in this case, like I said, so I've cut these down, ripped them down, and the bits that I've cut off, the leftover bits, I've cut in half, and they just happen to fit perfectly in the middle. Now, I will overlay a shot now of what it looks like finished on this side here so that you can see that that bond i like that little bond it just looks like a nice i don't know i just like the little the, the cut of it i like the cut of its jib let's say i, I just like how it looks that's how i've uh, always done them and yeah it just it just comes out really well obviously for different bonds and uh, not different bonds so for obviously different size piers it will vary like some of them you will probably fit it bang on like a two and a half brick pier i think it'll fit it bang on um yeah it does it does vary so this part is sort of how you have it is completely up to you but because i'm doing the two course i would say make sure it's bonded you don't want straight joints unless that unless that's your cup of tea then crack on and have a straight joint but i like how this little detail on the end looks and that's why i'm going with this one so what we're going to do is i am just going to start laying these i'll put this course down as it is now with all the 10 mils in it and then just plonk the other top bit on top and when it comes to doing the the brick on edge on top i'm just going to um, time lapse that because I've shown you how to do that before and uh, I'm trying to keep these videos sort of within a respectable time I don't know how easy that's going to be with me waffling on like I do but anyway so I'm just going to lay this this top course on th this first course on I'll probably time up uh, speed up the second course as well but I'll see how it goes it depends uh, depends how long this video is going in the uh, in the editing process anyway enough of me waffling on let's get the trail out and uh, get these plumped in so I will probably start at the back just to uh, let you have a sort of look on the inside. I'm, there's probably not really a great deal of stuff to see on the inside, but I just feel like I'd, I like to do this so that you can sort of see almost what's going on. And as per usual, 
all of you regulars who know me know that this is the point where I start yabbiting on about God knows what. So off we go. Just a little bit of muck there. Like I said, there's a um, there's a link to the big, uh, Brick Lane for Beginners playlist down in the description, and in there is how I make this mortar. What this mortar is. It is a lime and sand mix. But if you want to check out how to do that, then pop down there, have a butcher's, and you will find out how to do it down there. I don't like to tap these too much because they are quite, well, I say they're fragile, but you can break them. I ain't got my boaty, boaty my boat face. Now, when doing this, some people like to have these rolling outwards, but just for, to make life easier i just like to plumb them uh, level them over just because well just makes life easier for the brick on edge on top doesn't it now do that's level <clears throat> so i'll put them all on then i'm going to check for the temp uh, in fact i'll tell you what i'm going to put the corners on and then i'll check for 20 mils and then i'm going to put the middles in it's a lot easier when you check them afterwards because otherwise, well, I say it's easier, it's probably quicker to check them afterwards. Just purely because if you're, uh, if you get them all level and then you just get the, your level, range them all round and then you, you're basically there. You just tape a couple of corners and off you go, you, you're pretty much, you're done then. You get it roughly somewhere, right? And just level them over. Simple as that, pretty much. I like to have the beds quite skinny on these just because you don't want massive beds especially because the, you don't want a bed as thick as that well it probably will be about that thick actually I'm just trying to keep it as skinny as possible just because it looks nice but then again I like it skinny so if you like big fat joints then you can blooming well have big fat joints it's completely up to you oh I'll tell you what what have you all been up to? Anything much? So I actually feel like I'm probably not going to waffle on this much this time. I think I outdid myself last time. Now, what way around does that go? Does it go that way? No, it does. It goes that way. Oh, yeah. So, because you're not putting a cut in this side, you butter this up straight away. Now, buttering this up can be quite difficult. You do it much the same way as you did, would do a brick on edge, but you just... Well, hopefully, you could see that. I like to run it down the edge that you would top edge because you get a much cleaner cleaner mark on there. There's no real, there's a little bit of a smudge there, but there's going to be brick on edge covering this anyway, but I like to just do it that way just so you get that little bit less chance of it getting all mucky. Right, I'll show you this uh, again. Hopefully you can see. Let me just double check, make sure. You just scrape it down. A 45 degree angle and just peel off a little bit of that, that muck and then it should look something like that right these are a little bit out so I will have to tap these around before I put, well no I said I'd do it when the uh, when the four corners are on that's a bit high. Right now, I'll get the old tape measure out. Now, brick tape, mate, I keep banging on about this tape, but I'll tell you what, it is very handy. There are links down in the description to all of my tools that I use in this video and every other video that I make. They are Amazon affiliate links, so if you do decide to purchase anything through those links, then I do get a little kickback from Amazon and it costs absolutely no extra to you and it does go to help out what I do on this channel. So once you've done that, you just sort of range it across and then I will do the same on every other side. And once we're at that position, then we do exactly the same with this middle bit. These, these are tricky to get the old buttering on, so what I do is I butter one side up and then just put a little bit on this side here while it's already been laid and then we should be good to go. I 
I just realised I said keep the tops clean, but we're putting a uh, we're putting a course on top of that. So that was a silly thing for me to say, wasn't it? I'm going to be getting it dirty anyway. But it's always good to keep your work clean. Oh, mate, I'll tell you what, I like this. This is looking very, very sharp. Like I say, I probably would have preferred to ha have the texture of those roofing tiles that I showed you earlier, but this is looking, I think this is looking smart already. All right, I'm going to put a bit of muck in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little gap there. I'm going to put a bit of muck in there now with my pointing trowel. I'm just going to... Uh, tuck that in there just so it makes life easier when it comes to pointing that up later there we go beautiful Bernard actually feels quite weird not whopping on I'm uh, I'm kind of just enjoying the uh, sort of the, the bird song today really living out in the sticks a little bit get plenty of uh, tweeting birds I wouldn't say I'm a bird watcher, but I do like watching the birds out my window. My bedroom window backs onto the garden, so yeah, nice, uh, nice little view out the back to the to the beautiful wildlife. Of course, now I'm starting to waffle on about wildlife bird watching. Eh? Not that sort of bird watching. I'm married man. Not into all that, mate. Right, there we go. I thought I was going to get away about waffling. I thought it was just going to be nice, but no, I'm starting banging on about bird watching now. <laughs> okay, well, I must be getting old if I'm bird watching. Oh, where's my tap point? Notice a few people in the comments saying that me waffling on is sort of quite true to life because you don't have to talk some crap when you're laying bricks, and that is very true. I have had some of the most random, strange conversations of my life while on the line with other brickies. And they vary from all sorts, from planning the zombie apocalypse, which generally is the one that I usually start and instigate, because I am I am certain there's going to be a zombie apocalypse at some point, and you know what, I will probably enjoy it thoroughly. But it goes, yeah, all sorts of crap, like business ideas, sort of, I tell you what, I've come up with a random few inventions in my time, and... My old business partner, when I used to have a, a company with, we the amount of inventions we came up with and then realised someone else has already done it just a little bit too late and then we could have been millionaires mate this time next year we would have been millionaires right so there's the uh the first course now i'm going to do exactly the same but it's rotated round so these slips are going to be on top of these and then yeah rotated round so you've seen that i'm going to do exactly the same thing again so i will probably time lapse that i'm not sure yet i'll look well You'll see in a second, but I haven't decided yet. I haven't started editing. Anyway, I'm going to start watching. Right, so there we go. Like I said, it's just the, the bottom course just switched around a little bit. Okay, so from here, all we do now is we finish it off by putting a brick on edge on top. So... I guess I'll time lapse this, this as well because we have done it. You can just about see it in the corner of your screen here. We've done it over here. So if you are interested on the piers or brick on edge or anything like that, then down in the description, get on that playlist. Brick lane for beginners. That's where all my tutorials are. So uh, you can have a butcher's through there. Right, so let's get on with this. So uh, I'll play a few tunes for you while I uh, chuck a few bricks in. I can see it.
Okay guys, there we go. That is how you lay crease in tiles to finish off your pier beautifully. As I said, you can do it any, any size pier. You just have to jiggle around the crease in tiles to get it looking pucker. Anyway, if you haven't seen my other videos about how to cap off piers in a different way, then again, there is a link down in the description to the playlist for Bricklaying for Beginners. All my tutorials are in there, so go down there, have a little look around and see if you, uh, see if you find anything useful. With that being said, I'll leave that here for today's video. So please leave a like down below if you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys next week. So take care and I'll see you then. ta -ra. And today I'm going to show you how to build. No, let's start that again. Not build. How to build. Do you build it? You don't install it. How to build. Hi guys, how are we all doing? Rodium. Oh, f*** off get creasing tiles on uh, how, how to build a pier how to put just how to put how to how to lay how to lay creasing tiles that's the one uh, that's a bit too short F it actually that's probably all right me size pier oh, i think the first one was better let's start that again no can do mate that'll can do flying vehicle to bugger off. I should put that on a t-shirt. Bricklayers forever shouting at the clouds. Okie dokie, let's get going. Is this picking up my voice? It is. I can deal with that. That's good. Lovely. Chubby. Okay, this is so bluff. No, first sentence, I messed it up already. So the first thing you know, guys, no. See what feels quite, I'm actually, yeah. Mm. Don't really say anything then. Few people. I'll tell you, let me clean this first before I start talking again. Okay, guys, there we go. That is how you lay creasing tiles to finish off your pier beautifully. Let me know down in the comments if this. Uh, what do I say? It's fucking done. That's it. It's a nice, simple, quick, easy video. I struggle to talk less. I think I'm. I'm slowly turning into a waffle. You can't just say a sentence and be the fucking end of the video. You've got to talk some sort of shite. I'm turning to a waffle. I've got to start that again, because, well. What a fucking stupid thing to say. I don't know what to say now. I'll just sign off quickly, I reckon. Pair beautifully. If you are interested, I don't even know if this is in shot. Is it in shot? Oh, I can't be bothered to get up and have a look at the camera. I'm going to have a look at the camera because I want to see. I've got to keep talking. It is in shot. Is the mic on? Hello, hello, the mic is on. Okay, guys, there we go. That is how you lay creasing tiles to finish off your pier nicely. I paused. No, I don't want to pause. Fuck, here we go. Same as last time. Took, didn't take me long to film the video, but it's going to take me God knows how many hours just to outro. I keep falling over. Anyway, stop waffling, just get this done. I guess that's it. I kind of feel empty now that I've done that video. I feel a little bit empty after after I uh, do any video. Because lo and behold, I, I know a lot of you probably won't, <laughs> probably won't believe me this, but I don't really waffle that much in real life. I'm not a big talker. Actually, I'll take that back. I think it's because of you that I'm a big talker now, because my wife did say the other day that I do talk a lot. I think my new name should be Long Story Longer rather than Long Story Short because every time, oh, I'll tell you, Long Story Short. No, Long Story Longer. That's me. I'm waffling again. Right, I love you, Levy. See you later. I'm going to have a bit of lunch. See you later. Ta bye. Goodbye. See you later. I love you. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 See you later.